Water. 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 Do you like waterbenders, sex whips, controversial abilities, douche dashes and Diana alts because if you do boy oh boy empowered female character do I have a guide for you. Introducing Nyla, a champ that Riot is calling a melee marksman skirmisher and everyone else is calling the box office at E3 to buy tickets because they claim they are done with League and want to see what the latest knockoff of Mario Kart is coming out only to go home and immediately log back onto this game because they are addicted and they can't quit. This champ is everything you want in a champ that you never want to be released on the rift so today we are going to cover the things that happen when you drum set your keyboard on Katara, the bandwagon builds as well as my very own personal recommendations, and the playstyles that'll prevent enemy smiles, while you trial, this champ for the first time in rank because we are league players and that's what we do. Okay there's two skins for this atrocity of a champ there's the base pack vanilla unflavored water Nyla and then there's gradient orange square of broken code Nyla which is actually part of the star guardian fetish series that Riot is pushing so that they can lube you up and get themselves deep inside of your wallet. Okay onto the skills which for now on I will call abilities because it's disrespectful to the word skill in the context of any recent champs kit. Her passive is called the Broken Bullshit Buddy System and the first part of it is Riot's way of suggesting that she should go bot lane and take all the farm, or go jungler and tax all your laners if your name is Kara's Mai, because when she last hits one of these hooded midgets, her and her nearest butt buddy get half the XP that normally would go to the duo lane's government taxes. You can see this from the jizz sized yellow tax return numbers popping out of dead hoodlum heads as they die and this means you go through puberty faster than your nemesi which by the property of math means while it takes them this many minions to hit level 2 it only takes you this many minions, so you already know where this is going. You fling yourself into advantageous warfare while your Karthus support picks lint out of his asshole and you leave with nothing but a wasted summoner spell and the realization that you'll have to eat your packed lunch a lot earlier than planned which is going to make the afternoon at your shitty 9 to 5 desk job feel so long when all you want to do is get home and make league videos so you can build a channel up from scratch one day make it your dream job only for YouTube to come crashing down on you taking away your monetization totally not projecting I'm broken YouTube. My heart is broken. So this whole share a noodle kiss at the end Katara XP Wonderland of a passive might sound OP but it's worth noting that you only get the bonus if you are the one that last hits the minion which means if you have a dumb shit zillion support who brings relic shield to the party and deems the very first minion a good time to whip it out, then you have already lost your level 2 advantage and will have to kill the same amount of minions as the poor people champs who weren't recently released. It also means that if you don't have perfect CS in the first wave and a half you won't hit too early so my own elo hell hardstuck advice if you are matched against this water bending monstrosity is to just pick a low IQ fight at level 1 and get in her face cause if you both lose a last hit, it will be a much harder kick in the dick for her than it is for you. And not only does she get 50% more XP than a not newly released champ she gets 50% more of a passive so part 2 of the splash queefing Samira is that she is a much more appreciative recipient of getting her balls cuffed where any healy shieldy business between her and a butt buddy is more effective for all parties involved. Picture a spirit visage but you didn't have to pay for it because you were born with it but it also gives its bonus to anyone else around you and it's just built into your kit as your passive but only one part of it because you are broken bullshit crafted in the 200 years of game design loser laboratory at Riot Games. Her Q is her H2O sex tassel whack and this one has multiple parts because I swear there's a word count requirement on champion abilities recently so devs just throw filler shit in there to hit the requirement. This passive part of this gives you ability pen and lifesteal that scales with your crit plus overhealing that converts to a shield which means the spirit visage you were just given like a rich spoiled trust fund baby now has a friend, the overheal rune all for free all because 200 years. This also pretty much kneels anyone who thinks lethality builds are fun down in a ditch and shoots them in the naive face because for Nyla, crit is the shit and not building it is mathematically incorrect. So if you see a swag full lethality omega lull my Q fucks bitches and then escorts them out of my house and then makes me a pizza and boots up my Xbox type of video, just know it's him playing against silvers making stupid amounts of money and that crit is still the shit. Her actual Q ability is a straight line skill shot that cracks her little jizz tassels in front of her doing damage from the physical tribe.
If it hits literally anything she gets all excited like she shoved a few bullet ants up her butt tunnel and starts attacking faster from further away and in AOE fashion because why the fuck not at this point. This should help her farm in lane since she is melee and excel in short trades. It's also worth noting that these fluid fuck string slaps can hit towers and proc her little cocaine enema effect so add expertise in the statue vandalism category to the list. Side note the H2O sex tassel whack does make it seem like her jungle clear wouldn't be total dog shit but keep in mind you would then lose out on half of her broken bullshit butt buddy system passive, unless you are charismai. Her W is called jubilant veil aka let's fight about what it actually does on social media. When you open your mouth stick your tongue out aim it slightly to the right of your Q key and face plant down onto your keyboard you immediately gain a sprint's worth of movement speed and take less magic damage. Okay we are all in agreement up until this point right move faster take less magic Mike wieners to the face no disagreements, but then we get into the controversy where she also dodges quote unquote attacks and this is where everyone is out dressed up in their full anonymity shitting on one another for being stupid for not knowing what exactly it blocks. Social media right now is full of people fighting for women's body autonomy and human rights, and then there's people fighting about what exactly Nyla's W blocks. After a careful analysis of the Elon Musk meets Einstein baby sperm geniuses in the comments of my last video I believe it works like Jax's baton twirling routine does in dodging auto attacks and any on hit effects that it brings but the jury is still out. Even Vandral himself had an entire pissing festival with Riot Games over it blocking tower shots and then all of a sudden not blocking tower shots was a hot fix or a bug fix or a hot bug. You know you want me. So the bottom line is it's just another season 12 bullshit ability that you shouldn't bring up at Thanksgiving dinner if you aren't prepared for a heated debate oh and it has covid super spreader effects but in the best way where if you touch dick tips with any ally while you have it up. They will receive the mystery controversial auto attack with included CC abilities package bullshit as well. Side note its icon makes no fucking sense at all with regards to what it does or doesn't do it looks like something Kindred would draw in kindergarten while drunk. I'm sure even in the comments of this video you'll see people acting like they designed the ability itself and identifying what threats it protects you against but you can just be naive pop it on and not worry about what it's doing because you're protected. Kind of exactly like NordVPN. You see NordVPN is like a newly released champ in League of Legends, it comes with so many more features and abilities than other VPNs like its newest threat protection which guards against all the unknown interweb thefts that happen daily in this cybercrime ridden world of reddit mods and the best part is like Nihilus W you don't even need to know what all it protects you against because it just has you covered. Realize you are just a small fragile being in a giant risky world? Threat protection will watch over you. Considering doing something risky like navigating to a sus site alone? Got you covered. Even in your daily mundane activities there's endless threats online so it's good to have this puppy up and after a while I guarantee you'll start to feel like nothing can harm you. Rav actually tower shots on- Not to mention all the other VPN things it does. Imagine you are here and all you want is a good ass gromp to heal you up but there isn't a gromp available in your region and in fact the only gromp that's available is in a region that you couldn't be further away from. Well using NordVPN allows you to select said region and bam it's just like you are there. Taking that damn Gromp where in this case Gromp is games and shows only available in a region and you are you. Watching and playing those suckers because of NordVPN so check my link in the description to try it today and thank the Nord Lord for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to what. Her E is Slipstream aka copyright lawsuit pending from Samira's design team because that is all it is but with recharges instead of resets like Riot just copied the Samira kit description changed a few words around let's make it do physical damage instead of magical damage type of shit and then handed it in and the professor fell for that shit. This is nothing new to League it's just seemingly a requirement for new champs to have mobility I mean look at that Stingray sperm baby collector they released right before. Anyways you can dash through just about anything that attacks with a red or blue health but not things like wards or rift clits so use wisely. It's also worth noting that 2 charges isn't piss shit when the early game recharge time is long enough to grow peach fuzz on your ballsack between uses so careful on when you whip it out early. I kinda of wish that if they were going to flat copy this windshitter or bullshit Samira's kit with this ability they would at least add a cool EQ combo and with it like the others have but I guess the devs wanted to get home in time to watch Jeopardy that night so instead we got a new champ released early with a half-baked kit but a lot of sassy girl boss bitch attitude and that's all that matters. 
Her alt is basically a Diana alt she does her staple stripper move or how P.D. Pablo would describe it take your shirt off, twist it round your hand spin it like a helicopter, it does tiny tickle piss spout damage at the beginning and then busts a big damage nut on any beginner bot stupid enough to still be standing in it. It also has the crit as the shit passive where it heals you for damage done based off of your crit. The bandwagon runes that most actually good players use look like this where your tempo should be lethal then you double down on the fact that you already have one over shield by adding another with fast attacks and kill stealing potential on the rear end. Then even though crit is the shit you'll enjoy the amenities that come with licking sharp objects as well as the ability to cash in additional paychecks. This is cute and all but if you are like me and have not an ice cube asshole shot in hell at taking a full shit and fully stacking lethal tempo as a squishy melee marksman then you can opt into PTA which I personally like better. For build these are the knees on the bees that you'll want in your bags for the most part. If Riot releases a new version of Samira or Yasuo it makes sense that you'll build the same mythic and then the rest is boilerplate bullshit but I did notice that her cooldowns are long as an alcoholic's pp time so you may want to filter your shopping list down to the few items that have the crit which remember is the shit but also some ability haste and playing around in the laboratory with either of those. Now look at some gameplay examples to give you an idea of how an average player can stomp with the new Nyla nonsense. Here you can see I'm rubbing one out to completion but I'm not the only one hitting a master bait as my Karthus support pretends to be all alone as I come flying out to hit a dash into sex tassel slash on the sun slut as she retreats to safety but I have dash number dose in the oven which kills her off before a flashy flash completes the escape and that's the only play I have because getting the new release in champ select is impossible unless you are playing against bots. Subscribe for more vids like this. Rav out. Toxic. Rift. Imagine. If. Every skill shot. Whiffs.